Yeah. 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 You already know what it is. It's your boy, World of Rama, Groundhog TV podcast. We are here live at the Sampler Bushwick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Sampler Bushwick. Shout out to the Snake Pit that's in here. You know what I mean? They got their table and all that. I'm shouting out everybody in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? I got Daylight in the building. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got I got DJ Duke from Baltimore in the building. Yeah. Crucial Mr. One Love, a.k.a. DJ Weddy Wolf in the building. Yeah. And I got DAJ Johnson from Joe Boy Productions. You know what I mean? We just came from doing an event called Reggae, Reggae Passion Tuesdays that we do on Tuesdays because we got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, reggae-infused music produced by DAJ Johnson, and um, them shits is getting played all over the world. And we just came from that event, and we wanted to come here and to go live and let everybody know, like, what we got going on. We got DJ Duke as our special yeah. guest DJ. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's out of Baltimore, Radio 1. His show is called Talk Heavy Radio. Fair. He's been in a lot of different events from the Grammys to the BET Awards to the Ravens games to a bunch of different stuff, the WNBA games, all that. You know what I'm saying? We connected with a lot of people out here. So, you know, when y'all connect with us, y'all know we're going to put y'all in positions to, you know what I mean, really get some exposure all over the place. You feel Fair. me? So I'd like to thank S3 Media, my family, for putting together a live event in a location where we can come out after we do events and make it happen and make it even bigger than what it is. You already know what I'm saying. But yo, so um, I actually have a project coming out called Day Love World. That's Daylight, World of Rama, and Crucial Mr. One Love. So we performed a couple of them records earlier today and shit like that. So I want to get y'all take on what y'all feel about the project and what y'all expectations of it when it drops. Crucial. Well... The project Day Love World, um, the reason it's called Day Love World is because it's daylight, world drama, and crucial Mr. One Love. It's a mess, so it's a word play okay. on the words that brought the project together. So we have a couple of joints on there. I think it's about four, five joints, something like four, that. Four by Cover and one by uh, Blue Diaz. Yeah, shout out to Cover. Dope, dope, dope producer, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, you know what I mean? So... For me, I want to talk about um, one particular song, which is called um, Hating On Me, you know what I'm saying? So we've been doing this music thing for a long time, 20 years plus, you know what I mean? And we feel like there's certain people that don't really show us the love that we deserve, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we made a song to say, yo, stop hating, my nigga, show love to niggas that deserve love, you dig? <laughs> Just like that. And that song is called Hating On um, Hating, you know what I mean? And it's on the Day Love World Projects coming out real soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. The Day Love World Project, man, I think it's a, um, it's a great mixture of, like, R&B, hip-hop, and reggae. You know what I'm saying? So it shows diversity in our sound and our capabilities. You know what I mean? But other than that, it was a fun project to work on, and we got plenty of more to come. You know what I'm saying? So just stay tuned. We got things rocking right now. Joe Boy Productions, you know, Pack of Wolves Promotions, Grind R TV. You know the vibes, man. SUMG. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yo, DAJ Johnson, like, I want you to talk a, more, a little more about, like, what you got going on because we have an EP out called uh, The Link Between Volume 6. You got the 7 and you got another one you're about to put out. And it's a whole bunch of videos and a lot of exposure going on with things that's happening out here. So I want you to talk more about that because you got so much music out right now that's getting played in Africa and Jamaica and London and everything like that. Like, people need to understand, like, who you are and what you have to offer to the game, especially, like, for the reggae community. So, like, explain that. Yeah, man. It's the one and only DJ. Yes, late last year, 23, I dropped the um, link between Volume 6 with Crucial. Yeah. Multiple amount of artists on it, included Royal Arama. And Daylight, I have a couple of videos on it, doing pretty good. And I got volume seven coming out sharply. I'm waiting on the engineer to kind of design, finish the cover, cover, um, finish the cover for um, volume seven. But it's a pretty big project, you know? Shout out Lou. International music on it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. For the yeah. ladies, them, no faction. Reggae style, R&B style, hip hop style, and you know? It's a covering, you know? 
you got a you, project. you got a new single out right now with UT Ross, and half the video was shot here. The other half was shot in Jamaica because UT Jamaica. Ross is in Jamaica yeah, right now. Yeah, right now, and I'm working on another video with UT Ross and all of that. So it's a pretty good 24 kind of music, like real international stuff, you know. Something get you proper in the bedroom and all of that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Shout out Psycho Six. He shot the other half of the video, and then the footage was transferred to Jamaica, and the video came out crazy. Yeah, that wow. song you're talking about is called Image of God. It's on um, Volume One. The link between Volume One, y'all can find it on YouTube. Um, check out D. A. J. Johnson on YouTube. You dig? Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. And then we got a whole, he got a whole other EP coming out. Then you got Daylight's project coming out. Daylight project coming you know what I'm saying? That you produce, you produce most of it, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I think one of the joints me and you did with the with Blue Diaz is going to be on that. Shout out Blue Diaz and everything like that. We just came from Reggae Passion Tuesdays, killed it. We was live crazy. Yo, I'm kind of glad that when we came in, we was able to sit down and really talk because over there, we couldn't stop y'all two motherfuckers from DJing. <laughs> Word up. Hey, yo, we got DJ Duke in the building. He's on yeah. Talk Heavy Radio out of Baltimore right. Radio 1. Yep. Family right here, you know what I'm saying? He came all the way up to come get on both shows. So, like, tell him exactly what you got going on because you didn't dj at some of the major events from the Grammys and a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Let them know what's going on. Just blessed, man. Just been around the world, man. Uh, DJing with eight countries. Mm. Uh, Super Bowl two times in a row. They said BT Awards, um, WNBA, uh, NBA, like we got NBA All Star Weekend coming up, Super right. Bowl coming up. Mm -hmm. So just, just staying busy, you know what I mean? Stay out of the way. But I'm most proud of uh, DJing in Africa. Right. So um, DJing over in Africa twice. That meant a lot. You were saying something about you ready to move back. I'm moving back. Ain't no thought. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, like I don't have that. Here, Fuck that. I'm a, he on his ludicrous bag. Okay. Like, I'm out of here. I'm getting my once, I'm telling you, once you dual go to Africa, citizenship. Once you go to Africa, it's totally different. Then I'm going over there as an entertainer. Right. All of us will go to entertainer. Yes. So we can actually show the people how you really do it. And don't don't get it twisted. Africa not far behind. I mean, right. I've seen some, uh, Africa, some of the best things I've seen. It's just like the right. city in Manhattan. I went to Johannesburg, um, okay. Pretoria, and I stayed in a place called Brooklyn, right? Okay, I, I had my rental, had my yeah. GPS. Right, hey, you're I right. I to the mall like, like I was they in New York. They, they think it's like, different because that's all they see. Yeah. So I've been to Sierra they, don't show that, they don't really show that part of yeah. Africa on TV. You know they, don't, they don't want you to go back. But uh, yeah. the first place I went to was Sierra Leone. Shout out to Kyle De Niro, King Kyle De Niro, and King Musa. And then I went to uh, Ghana. A couple weeks ago with Team USA. Right, right, right. Official DJ. Right. Yo, shout out to me doing my 23 and me and my joint coming back that I'm 78% Nigerian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. The Yoruba tribe. You, you know from the I mean? Yoruba tribe? Yeah. The Yoruba tribe? Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I definitely want to go back, so it'd be dope if we all go back together. Right. And, and on, on a big, you know what I'm saying, tour and make it happen and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, see, Nigeria is more, more American, though. It's, it's like it's like the, the poppin city. Oh, like yeah? Lagos, yeah, that's like Africa is like Kenya. Right. South Africa is like, you know what I mean? Where I Just me somewhere. going back and touching that soil will mean everything <laughs> to me. I'm trying, I'm trying to get you know away saying? from it. Like, no, I'm messing with you now. Word Africa, up. Africa. Yo, so Duke, like, what, what's next for you? Like, when you leave, you only here for yep. tonight for the two shows that we did. And yep. then when you go back to Baltimore, like, let everybody know what's the rest of your week and weekend looking like. Um, back in Baltimore, two shows, you know, regular events that got Jurassic World. Uh, Friday, Saturday live broadcast. Them on the road. Uh, got the Grammys in LA February fourth. After that, uh, Super Bowl is February eleventh. Hold up, did you say you at the Ravens game on Sunday? That's Sunday, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Right, right, That's right. Sunday, yeah. Let's not I, can't, I can't release the other. No, we talked off air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah you want to keep that shit secret? I'm about, entire world. Nah, I'm yeah. about to tell them. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just so when y'all see the game, y'all see y'all come out. We got a surprise right before the game. Nobody knows about us. No flyers. I just found out about it because they want me to help. But and um, is this going to be like when the game plays? Is this no, like a the, halftime so, thing or before, before, the, before the game? He's going to come out and hype the crowd up mm, okay. for the game. So it's going to be special in Baltimore. That's major. Then, like I said, I'm on the road. Uh, Gra uh, Grammys, Super Bowl, and then NBA All Star Weekend is mm. going to be crazy in Indianapolis. I need to be running around with you. You, you know can. what I'm saying? Like I'm, you, I'm waiting on you. I, I know. Like, like it's I ain't New York. Front. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Word. That's a fact. You already know. Like, <laughs> Y'all are different. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Cruz, you like, you already know what, how we do. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Jurassic Park truck radio. Yo, <laughs> yo, when I seen that, I thought about you. When I, they offered me the job. I did it uh, last week. I just thought about you. So I, asked, I said, y'all have the big truck we can drive? They only had the small one for the kids and shit. So it was like, salute to you. He pulled up with the BT Awards with the truck. 
I was like, yo, I, I know you. Yeah, I was like, hold up, I know him. I went over there, so <laughs> yeah, it came out. So like, it never they tried to come over and tell us that yo, y'all can't did. do that here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, they did. But we still, we still finessed it. Word up, we still finessed it. Y'all say y'all from New York. Hey, we, we just, we just, like, yo, we, we doing what we do. We marketing working, from or whatever. We was working. <laughs> and I showed, you know what I mean? Ain't I was, no trouble, did yeah, nah, they? Even in they suit and ties. Yeah, they, <laughs> they showed us love. They yeah, showed us yeah. love. Shout, shout out to BET. Shout out to the, yeah. the, the security staff uh -huh. at the BET Awards and yeah, shit like that. Fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was all love and shit like that. But, yo, you know what I mean? Like, you got so much shit going on. Like, your show, Talk Heavy Radio, it comes yeah. on on Fridays from 4 to what? But every Friday from 3 to 4. 3 to 4. So, um, so you know we started with Radio One, but now uh, we, we definitely on iHeart. Right. Any, any so any platform you can Spotify, you can find my show on anything it'd be international. Mm. Um, you know we have a lot of guests. We talked about that earlier about the difference of guests. Right. So like I said, I told you earlier we'd go from like Kid Capri, uh, working on Fat Joe, and I had Turk, Wayne, and I had so many guests. Right. I like having up and coming artists, business owners, uh, and I, and I love having like the female rappers on. Because oh, no, you like so you only like female rappers? No, I'm gonna tell you no. I sound like I'm warm because I'm gonna tell you why. The female rappers feel like they're not winning out it. And nah, they, they they actually winning. They're like the, the fuck game. you mean? Yeah. But they feel like they every time I interview somebody, they, they be like, "Yo, we are not getting our respect." I'm like, but yo, see what well, everybody don't understand. Like everybody considers like skin color and gender and all of that, but it's really. Men versus women, like if you Absolutely, really think about it, is. it's like women always yes. be competing to be like as equal as men and things of that sort. So it's never really about a a, a gen, um, the the color of your skin or your religion or, or your talent. nationality. Yeah. It's really men yeah. versus yeah. women. And you're like that's it. Like and we got to tread carefully when we talk about word because you men the wrong we, shit. Yeah. All the women on like you know right. what I mean. So it's, look at how all okay. of these big celebrities is getting taken down. Like it's women that's bringing them down from whatever they did violate. And some of these situations, women were with the, those situations. And so now all of these years they're later, they're like, oh, now I'm telling them that these dudes is getting taken down. So it's real ways like it's really a gender battle. Because with all of this, the LBGTQ community situations, like, it's all about calling him or her and her or him and things of that, that sort. So it ain't really about color or, or yeah. religion. You know what I'm saying? They try to make it about that. But, you know, yeah, it I is heard. what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yo, i like to thank you for coming because you got a lot of things going on. And artists need to understand that if I tell them about somebody on the show or I bring somebody on the show, yeah. they need to really network with people because this gives them opportunities outside of New York. I'd be real heavy on the scene with the shows and everything that goes on in New York. You just can't stay in your city and doing yeah. what you do. So when I see you, when we bump into each other in Atlanta and then we meet up in Baltimore and you come yeah. to New York and we go to different cities and shit like that, moving. that's yeah, what you got to do as all, independent artists. That's real. So I love I'm, I'm, I'm Definitely big shout out to Davies and Corey Gunn. Did they show right. Saturday in Baltimore. They came down. I, I mean, we still haven't broke the barrier between the Baltimore and New York. It's like the New York has to feel, you know, it's, it's always something, you know what I mean? Uh, shout to Davies. And I told you earlier, Corey Guns is the nicest rapper I ever met in my life. Right. But he can spit. He's the complete opposite when you know, we talk to him. So shout to New York. You yeah, know, we, we usually different when we on the mic and stuff like that. We yeah, turn we got, into we a got, whole we different person. I get past the, that, that bomb on New York. You know what I'm saying? Like New York, I, I, you know, we know y'all from New York. Right, right, right. Y'all know I'm from Baltimore. We talk different. But we all, it's all one common goal, hip-hop. I kind of you know feel that way. Well, I felt that way a little bit about a lot of different artists from Long Island. They For always real? felt like they had... I felt like that they always had something to prove. And, yeah, when everybody and know that like, some of the like, some, you talking but about Method Man? No, <laughs> not even just Method not Man, even right. just him, but it like well he never <laughs> right. really repped it, but it's a lot of artists oh. from oh. It's, a, Mims, it's, a, it's a lot of it's a lot of artists from <laughs> Long Island Mike. that's really dope <laughs> that we really praise, like Rock Kim and EPMD and okay. Public Enemy, MF Doom Lot of these guys. Yeah, prodigies from Long Island. Like people don't understand that, but it seemed like when you go to Long Island sometimes they try to like do extra to show look because I'm from Long, Long Island. Island is not known for being like a tough place you know what I'm like saying so if you're a rapper from Long Island you coming you already coming in on a disadvantage you know what I'm saying I was like they made a rapper from Brooklyn you already like if you're from Brooklyn they're gonna be like all right that's a, a more tougher environment so that's why Bust always rep Brooklyn like that well that's what it is you want to as a rapper you know it's all about showing your toughness and whatever the mm. case is so your bravado in Long Island in Brooklyn is it's like, there's some, the Brooklyn, there's some real tough the areas in Long Island, though, so I ain't going to hold you. It's some yeah, real tough never areas in Long Island. Brooklyn, Chuck, you just BK, saying that because you from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Is that because we in the BK Sampler? Oh, yeah, let's go, you baby. Got big up BK <laughs> Sampler. I got the Brooklyn on. Okay, y'all Queens, right? Yeah, I'm Queens. I rep Queens. <laughs> okay, okay. My nigga Nimrod rep Brooklyn. You saying a little loud. Uh, 
You said it so low, yo. You said what? Save the chest, nigga. Queens get the money, long okay, time no okay. cash. I, I know you caught that. Caught up in a Dang. hustle where the guns go okay. blast. They got okay. did a whole song about it. Okay. Okay. I'm just Fuck sure. you, me, Baltimore. Checking the energy. <laughs> you know Fuck you, me, Mister Baltimore. Checking the energy. <laughs> you heard me? So what's the best borough? To me, Queens. Okay. To me, Queens. To him, like, Brooklyn. Yeah, for me, it's Brooklyn, right? You know what I'm saying? Wherever so, you from, you gonna rep where so, you from. So, but Brooklyn, y'all got Scarlett. She from Brooklyn, right? Listen, but we she got from, a lot. I don't know where she from. I think she from Scarlett from the Bronx. Oh, the Bronx? She from the Bronx. Yeah, she rep the Bronx heavy. Yeah, that's... She different place? Yeah. Now I'm just fucking with you. That's bad Jones. I'm fucking with you. They get mad about that shit in New York, y'all. Nah, nah, nah. All right, just in case you... I know you was joking, but in case you ain't know, it's Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, it's five boroughs, then it's Long Island, which connected the Queens, and they a lot of legends came out of Long Island too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Then you got them guys up in Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? The whole Griselda that, yo, squad. Buffalo, that's New York, that's, but that's far, it's you know? it's Buffalo. That's the country of New York. That's, that's not Conway, the city. Though, right? Correct. See, that's I know a little bit. Conway comes to Baltimore a lot. Yeah, yeah, they be out there. Nothing. He's saying shit. Nah, nah, nah. DAJ Johnson out there. He representing Long Island. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, you know what I mean? Everybody out Syracuse, there in Long Island. New York. Syracuse is New York too. Yeah, but that's like the no upstate New York. And the rappers um, not, that I, not that I really know of off the top of my head. Damn. But if y'all want to get on the show, Syracuse artists, <laughs> fuck with us. And y'all can right, come to New York. Right, let's drop. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come with us. Like, exposure, baby. Holla, holla at us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's just really cold in Syracuse. Word. Just yeah. just come up just come up and um and rock with us. Like we we build artists on shows, we shoot videos, we give you that exposure. We'll connect you with guys in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? We'll connect you with reggae producers like DAJ Johnson. You got, got an artist you working with out of um Baltimore, um, yeah, strong O. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the show the other day, yes, yeah. exactly. You know what I'm saying? He called up. I had see actually another artist from Maryland out I, I there where he got like, you know, a bipolar, he got one of those th those special needs or whatever the case may be. But I plugged him with DJ Duke. He called up on the show. He's going to go up there soon and get his interview. He got an EP coming out right now. You know what I mean? Three of the singles, two of the singles is out right now. The new video is coming out. Crowd Sucker, Sick Cred. And we're about to do the other joint for him. You know what I'm saying? Blue Dude has produced all of the records. I shot the videos. Okay. And we got a lot of shit going on. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to my licensing company I just signed with, um, yeah. Fundamental Music. So... People that I do records with with no samples, we, we we submit them right to the label, and they fish them to movies and TV. They're affiliated with all of the major networks. So, you know what I mean? I'm happy about 2024 and everything that we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Groundhog TV podcast every Sunday on S Street Media, also Rough Riders Radio, iHeart, Spotify. You know what I mean? We out here working. And since this is my 20th anniversary of Groundhog TV being on TV, I'm now putting it back on public access. Again, like I said, I've been talking to Brick Arts, MNN, QPTV, and I'm going to put it back on Verizon and Spectrum and all of that, our okay. episodes. You know what I mean? So people that's really fucking with us, and y'all be on the show and I edit shit up, y'all will be all over New York City, like when y'all come to New York to get on this platform. You I like me? that. That's tough. Word. It's working. So, yo, you got an artist or artists that you <clears throat> deal with out of Baltimore and shit like that. Do you want to say anything about them while we on this? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely shout out um, all the artists I work with. Um... You know what I mean? Um, definitely Envy is of Envy. You got a little crow. So I got a couple of different artists I work with. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, simply tell me, oh, make sure y'all go out and get um, my new single went number one a couple months ago. Uh, it's called Get Money. Uh, LA Leather Bars, Jazzy Face. So make sure y'all go get that. That's definitely, that's definitely tough over there, yo. Where, where's LEO -L -L -E Bars from? LA Leather Bars. So she's from the DMV area. I'm sorry, y'all. Right, okay. she she's from the DMV area. So that happened. We were on tour and we had an idea of a song. And it just went from there. Like she knew, she knew Jazzy Faye, shout out to 88 Fingers, and it went from there. But, but yeah, like so right now I'm pushing Envy's of Envy super heavy in the DMV market. That's um, the girl that I actually was out when I was in Baltimore. And we did that little run. We did the mm -hmm. show, then we did the uh, the live show at the um. You talking about Chicken Bacon? The, you came to the Windsor. The Windsor. Yeah, we did a couple. Right, of right, right, right. So, so she's moving. We doing crazy. Our new video. We just had I think 154,000 views in like. Shorty, I ain't gonna days. front. She she real stacked. Like she. Yeah, like four days. Yeah. So that's, nice. the thing is, we try to turn that into the money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? On Instagram, we do like 100,000. She got 100,000 followers. But again, if you know, we got to turn that into the value. So artists got to see that. You can get all the attention, but if you're not getting no money, Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole purpose to do the business. But see, you so connected with some of the biggest events and stuff like that. Yeah. As long as you plug her in and have her come wherever you at yeah. and perform and network with the people that you around, like, I'm sure she could take off for you and be like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Just, that. I mean, we just waiting for the labels. But the thing is, you know, the same I don't think people, you should wait for the labels no it's, more. The same, the same, yeah, I think the same people in the same position for the last 20 years. 
Yeah, well, a lot of these so guys are getting taken down, so it ain't, it's time. it ain't gonna be the same. It it's ain't gonna time. be the same for too long. You know what I mean? Time, but the, no, I'm gonna tell you this before we go about the labels. It's not, it's not see, with the labels. You can do the deals where you both win, right? So it ain't always like it used to be. You know, coming up, only the label win. So sometimes artists gotta understand you entertain it, right? You know what I'm saying? Not don't just shoot it down. Like sometimes it really make make sense because they can get you in doors you can't get in. Correct, so, but so that's only degree. if it's not if you willing because you always gotta give up something. Right. So I'm right. all about if you could because you have make sense. you yeah. have equity as an artist right you can give up points off a record you could give partial of your publishing to negotiate with what you have because mm -hmm. nowadays because i just sat down just recently with labels majors and R universal and all these different places mm -hmm. and they only focusing on what your numbers are you know yeah. what i'm saying they know if your numbers ain't out of here they ain't interested so you got to really pay money and market yourself like a major for majors to be interested just, in you. Either but way, you got to spend some Exactly. Break. Either way, you're going to spend money. Break. So me spending money on myself actually got me a situation to where we were in a location and licensing people saw me. They liked my sound and they signed. Well, we worked, we negotiated and then I signed with them. So now I have equity to where I can give up percentages of my publishing or points off of my joints for them to fish my shit into movies and TV. And yeah. we eat royalties and advances off of each other. And I think as independent artists, me being an independent artist that I have been for so long, I feel like that's a perfect way for me to go because mm -hmm. labels look at me as, oh, he's a dinosaur. We don't want nothing to do with him. But then there's other people that in different genres that feel like, yo, your sound, I can place that in this. Yeah. That will work perfect in that scene. So we can do that, and you can make advances and royalties off of shit like that. It ain't always just about chasing a label. You're going to yeah. spend mad money either way, but once you get that foundation where mm -hmm. you grab your niche, you don't have to chase certain shit no more. You no, know you're right. I mean, the residual money is crazy. Like, of course, I got, advances I and individual. Uh, and residual. I got a song NBA 2K 21, 22, 23, 24. So that, that's residual income. Uh -huh. So, it don't, you know, it don't really matter. Who he like me in the public? And I was like, I got that. He got a placement in um, yeah. um, NBA 2K24. That go, my Go Baby record that we performed at the, oh, the yeah, last joint. That, yeah. It's on Spotify playlist, NBA 2K24, it's and it's on Madden. Oh, Madden. You know what I mean? So for sure, like, and you do a lot of sports. It was also played in the um the semi, the finals. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Game four at the, in the arena in Miami. Well, I mean, shout out to D-Tech and all that. Like, it's mad shit going on with that record, but that was 2023. We now talking about 2024, yeah. and we got all of the projects coming up. <laughs> they Love World. I got the um, World of Ramas Vision with Blue Diaz joint. We got D.A.J. Johnson project out right now and more Link coming. Between Link Between seven. Volume 7. We got a whole bunch of shit coming out, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it moving. We got Psycho 6 catching all of the footage, that's putting out all of the shit that's going on with us out here. Like we really grinding and we dealing with you and you dealing with us Absolutely. and we actually washing one both hands washing the face out here moving around like that in the DMV area, man. We really appreciate you. Shout out to my niggas Glockaway out in Philly, yeah, all of my people out up. in Atlanta, Philly like everywhere, up. man. We got a lot of shit going on, man. So look, tell everybody where they can find y'all at, which I know, but they don't know out there. So just let them know. Like give it, give y'all information and all that. Yo, but well, I don't know. Say a crucial, Mister One Love. You can find me at C R U S H A L underscore M R one L U V. Crucial underscore Mister One Love everywhere. YouTube, every social media. Yes, they. Boom. Yeah, D A. An all digital platform. D A J Johnson. A Joe Boy Production. You know, I'm responsible for the production work and so forth. And with EPs, videos. And all of that. DJs and all of that. You know? All right. Pick me up. And me, uh, follow me at DJ Duke Live on all social media platforms, DJDukeLive.com, all that good stuff, man. All right. You can find me on Instagram at Daylight, D-A-Y-L-I-T-E underscore S-U-M-G, YouTube also. Yeah, YouTube, uh, pardon me, YouTube also at Daylight underscore S-U-M-G. You know the vibes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that's what it is. It's your boy, World of Rama, Groundhog TV podcast. We live in the Sampler BK. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I ain't going to front. We just came from another event that we do every Tuesday as well. And we were going to do some live shit. But you know what I mean? I'd rather we sat down and just talked and just got every, all of the information out. Cause we perform a lot. We do a lot of shit. There's a lot of things coming up going forward. And you're going to see us a lot out here rocking out. My guy Daylight is an excellent R&B artist. The singing sensation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fruit You Mr. One Love. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit You Mr. One Love is a reggae uh, a reggae 
what you what you call it? Electro, Electro reggae, reggae pop. pop. <laughs> Electro <laughs> reggae pop artist. DAJ Johnson has the traditional yeah. sound of of reggae music, like yeah. it's so soulful. You know what I mean? And I, I'm bringing a hip hop flavor to it. So we kind of like the new Fuji as far as the Day Love World Project. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Without, without, without him, no female, because Lauren Hill was the female of the Fuji's, but you I know, never ooh la la. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I played that earlier, too. I Word saw up. you look when I played that shit, yo. Word. Yeah, I played that shit earlier. <laughs> shout out S Street Media. Shout out Rough Riders Radio. Shout out Our Heart Spotify. Everybody that, 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 you know what I'm saying, ring the shows off. I appreciate y'all all and shit like that. Thanks to everybody that came out tonight. Thank, thank you, BK Sampler and all of that. And I just want to say we got a special person in the building, Kia Jeffries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if y'all don't know who she is, she's she's the I put it in your mouth. Yeah. So if y'all ain't know, she in the building. I see you. You know what I mean? We're gonna be back with more. It's your boy Rod the Rama, Groundhog TV Podcast out. Yeah.